Hello there and welcome back to some more Grand Turismo 4 today we're continuing on Let's Play. This is episode 131. In today's episode, we are moving on to the extreme events and these are proving to be challenging. This is our third attempt at doing Grand Turismo All-Stars and this has taken three hours so far. Help me. Anyways, that's the event we're doing far. today, but extreme events basically similar to the beginner and intermediate events. There's uh, quite a few of them. They're not ridiculously long for the most part. The longest runs about three hours apart from Formula GT, which is about a 15 hour bout. Anyways, uh, tried using the X-Ray 220, didn't work. Tried using something else, it didn't work. So instead we're going to use the car, which basically the game's trying to blackmail me into using. We are using the Jaguar XGR9. Oh, the cool thing. Yeah, it's purple, which is cool. Anyways, it's I the don't Jaguar. think I'm going to have to actually do any upgrades to this. I don't even think it's worth putting turbo on it, unlike everything else. Or should I? Mm, I think the turbo... Yeah, I think I should. I think the turbo <laughs> kind of powered the last thing we did. Yeah, turbo's worth it. Um, We will also put her on hard tyres, because we need them, because mediums won't quite get you through a race. Yeah. Don't let your memes be dreams. Yeah, exactly. Something like that. Probably, I don't know. Yeah. To be honest, we probably could have like won that in that fine in the last one we did, but I just couldn't be dicked to keep up with the car anymore. It's starting to get on my tits. Mm. And as we all know, when something gets on your tits, don't do it. Yeah. Pretty much. Anyways, we're all a little bit deflated after that, but we've got more people than we had. Previously it was just me and Inferno and then everyone joined in halfway through <laughs> and now it's basically everyone from the start. Yeah, so it's kinda like because I was away doing important family things and not playing Pokemon. No, I wasn't. Pokemon's gay. I wasn't playing Pokemon, you can't prove I was. Anyways, Grand Trismill All-Stars Chen Championship event. You won't believe I've read through this before because I know it's High Speed Ring, Fuji, Mazda Raceway, Laguna Seca, Autumn Ring, Driving Park Test Course, Grand Valley Speedway, Suzuka Circuit, Infineon, Grand Circuit de la Sarf, and Zunerberg Ring is the final race. 100 grand prize pop, let's go. Uh, Woo! Hey lads. It's also starting to get hot in here. Uh -huh. I'm thinking I need to follow Nelly's advice and take off all my clothes. Oh hey, Inferno! What? It's the same grid we started the game off with, or the day off oh, with. Oh, great. Oh, well. Um, oh, yeah, actually, I can scribble out this note that I've got now. Alright, stage four turbo. Ah, uh, my hands died. Gonna do that with the gear ratios. Uh, downforce is set to. Holy shit. Yes. Good. My hands fallen asleep. Oh, no. Stop wanking then. I'm not wanking. That's what you think. You'd hear if I was. It's actually just muscle Wow, you're that loud? Point. Are you one of these people that sits there and goes, <laughs> when they do it? I like to make a show out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, I'm like, God, silent. Yeah, still. Exhibitionism is king. Oh, God, you would say that. <laughs> Anyways, it's a 6.A spec race, and like in the Jag X J, which was J2, 149. 20. Except the Jag actually was. Like probably more competent than most of the cars we've driven today. <laughs> Quite a bit of wheel spin off the line, but eventually it gets going. I kind of didn't want to use this because it's very similar to the Nissan R89, but I mean it's a cool car, so I'm fine using it. I like this XJR9. <coughs> I think Az is a fan of it as well. Az. Hello? Stead. No. Fucking hell. Can you stop taking cocks to the back of his throat and he might be able to speak somewhere. <laughs> Anyways, we win. Already. Oh, Inferno. Yeah? I have grip. Yay! I'm not going to be able to monster grip. everything in a straight line like we could in the previous couple of cars, but I actually have aerodynamic grip now, which is... Superior, quite frankly. Better. Yeah. That being said, I still, holy shit, have a lot of straight lines here. This thing's still oh on our test course. What? 
I just found the thing because I'm planning to go to Milan and I may just take a plane and and run. I can actually rent a Fiat 124 Spider. <laughs> hey, I think yes. Fiat's like just trying to give away them. And now uh, I don't remember seeing through glass they gave them one for like a month. Like for 80, 83 euros for two days, I can get a. F one two four spider. Then again, let's be honest, the one two four spider like probably costs them nothing to make. I'm back, sorry. Oh. Fucking pleb. My I wanted I wanted to like fucking run my hand under the tap, then I realized my cold water is now warm. What did you do to your army <coughs> I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, you like the XJR9, correct? Yes, I do. Right, okay, that was something we tried to establish with you earlier. It's a nice car. It's got a cool livery on it. It's purple. It is, it's silk cut, except this game obviously won't allow alcohol sponsors, so... Oh, that's what silk cut is. It's tobacco. It might be tobacco, I don't fucking know. Don't silk cut sounds more like it's a whorehouse, to be honest with you. Okay, that too. It wouldn't surprise me if Jag was like trying to sell off four houses on their race cars. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a very Jag thing to do, doesn't it? Yes. Because it's a Jag. Yeah, hmm. No, one thing I will mention is, um, I've just uh, found this ad. We're doing the extreme events, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. For a time frame of. Um, when we're recording this right now, um, nah. is it is nah, then he die. Gone. <laughs> the time frame we're uh, recording this now, mm -hmm. um, extreme rules. Yeah, I knew you were going to make the fucking extreme rules joke. <laughs> Do you want to know the best bit? Uh, yeah. Shit. Never what? mind. What? Need to sort something after this race. What? Kinda need to schedule today's episode. <laughs> oops. Hold on. Also, the wrestling thing didn't go up, so oops. We not. <laughs> Literally the day after I get a thing today's on Twitter saying, "Hey, day. we yes, this it is. series. Keep it up." It's just like, oops. <laughs> Can't remember what the match is. It's not one of the funny ones. The funny ones, fucking Acom versus RVD. I'll watch out for that. That's the one where I jumped on the ref and killed him. <laughs> also, Inferno. Oh! Yeah. Oh! In the Jag, I was getting 101s. In the Chaparral, my best was a 59. In this, it's a 57. <laughs> so, I, I, I just found out a thing. Mm. For 3,333 euros and 33 cents I can rent a 650 spider for two days. <laughs> that's pretty good, that's like, what, 20 pounds in real money? Fuck you, your money isn't real, it's fake. <laughs> our no, money's our money's real. more real than your money. No. Your money's euro nope. bubble. Nope. You used to have real money, now you don't have real money. Yeah. That's, that's the Italians true. did as well until they started charging like 10,000 for a cup of coffee and decided, you know what, this euro shit actually doesn't sound too bad. As we all know, the Great British Pound is the best currency. Yes, you should have. Because it's the one that makes everything seem inexpensive. 2,959 pounds for McLaren 65S for two days. I wonder something. What? Is there any currency in the world that makes everything seem cheaper than the British Pound? Because I think the British Pound might be the lowest yeah. currency. What is it? Yeah. Yen. No, the yen <laughs> makes everything yen. seems ridiculously expensive. That's why no. every car. Oh god, is what's that? The the money in uh, Zimbabwe. Have you seen that? Pesos. No, no. no. Pesos uh, is Egyptian, I think. Uh, no, Spanish. Sp well, it was Spanish. Oh, Spanish. Yeah. yeah. The Italians were lira. The Maltese no, had the their own currency, but that got taken away from them. Yeah, they were called more teasers. Haha. Although the funny thing with Malta is they still operate off their old currency. They just accept euros as well. Yeah. Like every price tag has like here's what it is in euros, here's what it is in other money. 
See, the pound's so good, Scotland turned around and said, well, we want independence, but we also want to keep the pound. <laughs> it's just like, okay, good luck with that. I, I think, to be fair, it's less effort, and also they don't need to go and mint their own money then. Yeah. yeah. Here's, well, I mean, the thing is with GDP is, like, the only reason we've got it is because we accidentally fell into the European Union. Like, we weren't even supposed to be in it, it was just a trade agreement, and then it turned into the EU, and we sort of joined it by default. No. <laughs> no, we didn't. No one wanted to join the EU. It's just they ended up happening. The only people who wanted the EU were the jerk. Oh my god, what the fuck's happening with a car? The fuck? It's sort of just disabilized randomly. That's not a word, is it? Destabilized is a word you tip. Anyways. Um Shock, Brock Lesnar return. It's not really that shocking. No. And hopefully in extreme rules, Braun will actually um <gasps> you know. It's this episode. Hi, welcome back. Hopefully I managed to cut all that out. <laughs> Probably didn't. Probably didn't. Yeah, me all had to do a few things, including... Uh, yeah, they already... I, I said in the fucking episode, shit, I need to schedule it, so... Now it's scheduled. Yeah. But you'll never know which fucking episode... Now that, um, so now that SNHMB got off. I mean, I always get off when I'm thinking about SNHMB. <laughs> Look at it. It's fucking beautiful. Well, at some point we will be using it. We will. Holy shit. How's the R390 ahead of the Bentley? How's it ahead of the Sony 8 MB? It's a bad question. Because the Sony 8 MB is shit. Yes. Fuck off. No. Shut up. It's Shut not up. ahead anymore. It... Neither are you. Yeah, I got fucking punted off. Because the AI is so kind. Please tell me, right, even after upgrading the car, fucking, is this going to be a case where I still do shit on Fuji for no reason? Like, we fucking got last place be in surprised. the Jag. Well, actually, no, we got third in the Jag, we got fucking, like, fifth or sixth in the Chaparral. Fifth. Fifth, sorry. I need to use that Chaparral at some point, because it's the meme car, but I don't know where. Uh... uh. I have an idea on where I could, where we could uh, slot it in. I still have a couple of endurance spots to fill. So. Yeah. Well, well, I've got an idea um, where you could slot it in. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm going to put it down somewhere. I'm still open to moving some stuff around. But... To be fair, even if we don't use the Chaparral, though, it's not that big a loss. I could probably use it in a later GT game. You from the real Emil? <gasps> He's uploaded something! Actually, yeah, I might <coughs> just use the Chaparral in a later game. Because I think in well, GT6 going... it's pretty cheap, so... Yeah, because in GT5... Like... In, in GT5, even though it does have the... Uh, the... Um, Downforce flags attached to it. Um, it still costs. It actually costs more in that than it does in this game. And what about between six and four? Though? Last time I remember, I believe it cost about thirteen mil. Someone Don't fucking just confirm that. that shit. If it costs thirteen mil, then yeah, fuck that. It's being used in this game. I ain't got fucking the time to fucking. It's like with those XJR13s and stuff where it's like 20 grand, it's like, who the fuck's got time to grind for that shit? Who cares enough? Uh, oh. Hmm? In fact, it's much worse. 15 million. Okay, and it cool. shows up in the used car dealership. Okay, we're using it in this game then. <laughs> well, that, well um, then I'll just uh, slap it somewhere. Bye bye Toyota. And when and looking at that, um, fifteen million, yeah, 
That's a estimate. Estimate. Uh, yeah, because um, obviously Depending it's not entirely accurate to yeah. how much it actually can be bought for. But even so, and in GTA Hello, 6, you it's bastards. Definitely. Hello, cunt. What's up, Hello, bastard. It's a cunt. Oh, oh shit, sorry. Don't apologise. <laughs> it's fucking cruncher as my whole stars. This event can already go get fucked. <laughs> I've always liked how the fucking. Uh, Neil, post... like, uh, like the wind's easy as shit. Fucking anyone who complains exactly. about like the wind is just fucking a child. You're uh, yeah, if you complain about um, like the wind in this game, then you're. Then Didn't they change please. it for like the later games where it's like you have to drive around like what into courses or something? Um, yeah. yes. In GT5 they and they, they changed it from the um, test course, which wasn't even in the game anymore. Um, well, the special stage route 10. No. No, no, it was no, route, route X. X was, route X was DLC, so. Yeah. So it didn't show up for that. Uh, for that. Um, if I'm remembering correctly, for GT5 it was India, in Indy 500 um, um, track, yeah. so the Indy Super Speedway, so we and know. Special Stage Routes 7? No. Or Daytona? No. It was Daytona Road Course. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right, because in GT6 it was um, in Indy Super Speedway again, but this time it was um, Special Stage Routes X for one lap. And special stage route seven. And so special stage route seven, yeah. Route seven is that weird one where it's like you just do a U turn, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's a legal U turn. Anyways, it looks like we're going to be pretty comfortable in this one. But, but yeah, yeah. Um, like the wind in this game is super easy. Like the wind in general is super easy. I like the wind in this game is piss easy. Play. It takes like ten minutes, isn't it? Just like five laps of test course. Yes. yes, it is. It's five laps of test course against, um, well, various race cars, mostly LMP. But you don't even need a race car to um, compete. Yeah, it's the same in GT3, wasn't it? Where it's a bunch of race yeah. cars. Yeah. Yeah. All you need is like a road car that can exceed 250, and you're good. Hmm. I wonder what road cars exceed 250 miles an hour. Hmm. Yeah, it's very warm. Hmm. Oh, that's don't tell me to game. do that, actually. That's not a bad idea. What? Fucking Veyron for, like, the win in GT5 for the shitpost. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? That would, that would actually be a good idea. Mm. No, it wouldn't. You have a race course to go around as well. I mean, I could always use the Bugatti Veyron Enforcer 3 for something. Bugatti's not. Hang on. I'm just Bugatti. remembering something. In GT4, the Veyron actually cheats for one event. Huh? Really? Yeah, because in GT5, if I'm remembering, if I'm, <coughs> if I'm remembering correctly, it shows up for the MR ch championship. Oh. Well. Oh. Uh, Inferno. When it when it's supposed to be four wheel drive. Yeah, we've got an issue. That makes sense. What? Well, two, well, let's be fair, it is mid-engined. The Toyota 7 is beating the Bentley Speed 8 in the standards. Well, how? how? Flying wedge how? and wedgie. Emil, mm -hmm. I'm going to the inaugural tapings of NXT UK. Well done. Wait. You get to see a mountain of mustaches. <laughs> yes. I know and nothing it's about it. City. Manly mustaches. It's in my home city as well. <gasps> Sheffield? No. To be fair, you don't sound like you've got something mentally wrong with you, so you can't be from Sheffield. <laughs> <laughs> Why I hate Arctic Monkeys, the guy sounds like he's genuinely like. There's something just not quite right in his head. <laughs> but no, Sheffield. It's, in, it's, in, it's at the Cambridge Corn Exchange. Oh, yeah, I forgot you fucking Cambridge. It's the most expensive place to live in the world, apparently. Apparently. 
Apparently it's more expensive than London somehow. I mean it's Cambridge. Ugh, Cambridge University. Which I'm oh. everything. I went to the Cambridge University. I got trained by Stephen Cambridge University. I never Stephen went, I never went to right? Yes. yes. Rip Stephen yeah. Hawkins. Yeah. I never went to um, university, so no, you can't say that about me. I didn't either, so I don't know anything about it. No. From what I, I gather, you just lose a lot of money and anyway. get not a lot of games. So. Laguna, Saker, holy shit. The... Sorry. <laughs> if anyone needs to find their breaking points, it's over there somewhere. <laughs> Just use the tile wall. Best breaks you'll ever have. Mm. Yeah, and because uh, one driver in uh, Formula One yesterday found out, found out the easy way. I know nothing. I know someone got rammed off. Um, Hamilton got taken out by someone, and apparently Hamilton Alice. got taken out by Kimi on the first lap. Um, one one has literally uh, went into the tire wall due to a dodgy place, a badly placed um, D DRS zone, because the way ha the way this zone works is. It's on the main straight, and the first corner is basically a flat-out right-hander for these cars. Mm. Yeah, it's stupid. So, you, so basically, drivers actually have to dab the brakes in order to take the turn without, you know, well, do they have off. to use DRS in that zone. Um, well, they don't have to, but um, well, this is. It allows them to uh, make overtakes if possible, but it's a stupid zone. They F1 is fucking well, stupid. Well, well, on it still the, bugs uh, the shit out of me the fact that those cars, like Formula One, is supposed to be like the ultimate formula. So why do you give the cars restrictions? Just let people build whatever the fuck they want to build. Just go mental with it. What do I say? Just point. have everything have like six gazillion horsepower and ride on like four twenty-five tires. Yeah, well, his thing, Bill. If if they were allowed to uh, build what they wanted to with our restrictions, you'd have the Red Bull X Challenge. Yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah, exactly. Then we get to see what Mercedes but would build against that, and then we get to see Toro. We Rosso wouldn't be able to see anything money. because they'd be going too quick. Exactly. That's fun. That's the point. It's Formula One. It's the <laughs> ultimate formula. Anyways, something more interesting. BTCC was fun. Yay. Subaru is back in contention. Subaru? I'm still fucked <laughs> off. BTCC. <laughs> How did my team go? Uh, he fucking rage quit. Oh. He was streaming it earlier today, so I'm assuming he's beat it. We couldn't be there, because me and Inferno were all wasting time using useless cars. <laughs> I don't know what to stream later. Because Inferno didn't do the fucking research. Oh, sorry! I didn't You're do You're supposed my to be research. the guy who knows everything about this game. Guys, mm. I'm thinking of streaming Underground 2. No. Rice. Rise, 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 rise box central. Just don't steal my fucking thing and we'll be good. What thing? Good old SRS. Well, no one's on the stream SRS because it's crap. Do you want to know the amusing thing? What? Ever since I fucking streamed it, quite a few people have been playing it. So. <laughs> oh no! That's just because you, you should play a set of Corsa, aka Deja Vu Simulator. I've never played a set of Corsa, and I don't have a wheel. You sad fuck. I also would buy it on Xbox, really will, which apparently isn't people. a good idea. No, yeah, you really should buy it on Xbox. Don't get it on PC, it's got mods, and it's like, okay, cool, whatever. Yeah, because I literally if you don't, don't care. 
There's only one yeah, game but... I like playing around with mods and it's GTA and that's it. I don't care about anything else. Mm. Oh. Also, I don't particularly want to drive a simulation game because I've got this thing outside. It's called a car. Um, don't know if you've heard that's of it. That's a good point. Yeah, basically I can like simulate actual driving by actually driving. Pretty incredible. <gasps> yeah, but, but, but you're only driving a shit. The worst so... bit is it's cheaper than most sim rigs as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. And even with like buying a car and the insurance, it's just cheaper. Yeah. Who it's died? Like, I think Ludo isn't happy about my <laughs> assertions of cars being better than Sim Rigs. Ludo tried to die. They are. I mean, yeah, of course they are. You buy like an MX-5 for like a grand, which is cheaper than building a Sim Rig to drive an MX-5. So. You could get a fucking hydraulically operated chair for your sim rig, or you could just drive over a bumpy road. Yeah. And let's be honest, it's pointless anyway, because people who sim race don't sim race properly. Why not? If you've got a sim race, right, here's what you do. You get an endurance race and you just piss yourself like a race car driver would. Yes. Like, there's no pulling over, just, just, just let it out. Get on the phone to your Steam friends and wait. You won't have Steam friends. You're playing a sim game. Um, but as we all know, the sim racing community is a, a, a special breed of uh, interesting. Special play sim games don't have friends. Yeah, I don't know. It might be getting better as actual mainstream people for it. I don't know. There's that Jimmy guy who I've never watched any of his content of, so... Same. I'm just not interested. I think I watched him see stream Gran Turismo once and I was like, eh. <laughs> it's fine, I guess. He tried to make a meme out of the Fiat Panda. I don't know that much. Anyways, we're not winning Laguna Seca for the third time on the trot. Yeah. Same. What happened? Laguna Seca. The R92 is basically set up quite well for this track, apparently. Mm -hmm. uh, my car sort of isn't. It's fine. We'll come back and win this at some point. Maybe when I get some stupidly OP. Or, you know, just do something else. Yeah. It's kind of like cars for a fiver, but you know, works a little bit better. Nothing works better than cars for a It fiver does something the else. Oh. It doesn't make the price of cars cheaper, it makes the costs of winning cheaper. <clears throat> Driving a Jaguar. They call it the XJ, I'm about to blow you like XK. Oh dad. Exhibit, no. I'm pivot. I go ribbit like a frog. Inside a tub of mayonnaise. <laughs> mayonnaise is a lyric that should be used more in raps and music. Doesn't rhyme with anything. Hey, Halays. Oh, no. nice Lamborghini. <laughs> oh. Way. Way. It's the car that everyone doesn't like because, oh my god, I'm the ring, you the correct type. Like, okay, whatever. Oh, uh, Rhino killed half the field, apparently. Oh, Oops. Good. I assume he took my advice of killing things, makes it easier. Yes, it does. Do you know I fucking hate thingy? What? I what? fucking hate the quote place at this point. Why? Because it's people who quote themselves. And like, if you said something funny, someone else would like, find it funny and quote it for you, but... You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. Like, I, I don't... 
Like, if, if you're quoting yourself, you're clearly not funny enough to be quoted. I'm sorry. Yeah. Anyways, we're gonna chuck mediums on it, because... Fuck it. I like how boost is so fake. Are you sure cause... that's a good idea? Yes. Mm -hmm. Only on the front. I didn't put them on the rear. Unless I accidentally okay. only put them on the rear and didn't put them on the front. In which case, we're going to have a fun old time here. Um, I see boost is like fucking muted for like the automation fucking... Need <laughs> <to focus>. Ah. <laughs> oh, automation is my complete focus. Not that in depth. We still see Discord. Oh shit! There you go. Way. Hey. You now see hey. a. Oh, seven eight seven B now. Why? Four seven eight seven B is our issues. Ring. Oh yeah, the shock is called on me. I just get this mixed up with Africot Hill, and I have no idea why. Oh, well, the Toyota fucked itself. Well, then. So the Toyota did a dead. And it's still quicker than the R390, help it. Actually, speaking of brain dead AI, I swear to God, in Just, in just Cause 2, in one of the first missions, I had one of the one of the police AI just crash into a petrol station. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. What, are you talking about the biker AI? No, just the police AI in general. They were chasing me, they were shooting at me, and they just crashed into a petrol station. The police by Korea AI is amazingly abusable, because they just... <laughs> what they like to do is they like to ride alongside your car and shoot at you. You can just drive them into anything. No, there, was a, there was a point where I just witnessed one of them, and just randomly drove themselves into a truck. <laughs> Just a truck. Yeah. Not the truck. Hello, darkness, my old 92. Hello, I'm going darkness, to watch you fuck this six. turn. Oh, you didn't fuck it as badly as I was hoping you would. Hmm. I did ah. instead. Oops. Oh, dear. It's fine. What what are you using again? Hi Toyota. Have you crashed recently? To be fair, Inferno, as we know, everything goes a little bit haywire in this race after a while, so that's good. Yeah. Mm. Although I'm apparently losing rear end grip somehow. Or it feels like it is. And we're on a straight, okay. Go on, Turbo. Save us. Save me from the nothing I've become. Wake me up. Wake me up inside. I can't wake up. Wake me up inside. Save me? Hold my hand no. and save me from the dark. <laughs> I hate that song. I hate Evanescence. Okay. It's shit. It's fucking horrible. It's like Lacuna Coil for people who don't like their ears. <laughs> or Lucuna Coil, or however the fuck you say it. It's Italian, I don't give a fuck. She did a song with the guy from Megadeth. <laughs> it was actually wow. okay, considering the guy from Megadeth can't actually sing. Good old Dave Mustaine and his 50 year old weird voice. Mm. Help! <laughs> Fuck. Really? Oh, uh, Gran Turismo AI. Now you know how I feel, Emil. Feel Emil, the real Emil. Haha! <laughs> the feel Emil. Excuse me while I just. Steal that name. There we go, have a play. Twat. Dead. <laughs> right, he's dealt with moving uh. back up to the title picture, hopefully. Hopefully the CP gets caught in traffic. Oop. 
There we go. We'll finally get some grip going. I don't know, car feels kind of unstable around this track. Uh, this is the one track where the Chaparral genuinely felt like it had like way better chances. Or was it the Jag? It was the Jag that I did well around here, wasn't it, Inferno? Until it ate hmm? his rear tyres. Yeah. This also feels like it's eating its rear tyres, but the rear tyres are absolutely fine, so I'm not quite sure. I don't know if the fucking the balance has been thrown off by having different tyres on front and rear, but it shouldn't be. I don't quite know what the fuck's going on here. Car just feels kind of unstable. Oh, Bentley's in the lead. Okay, that's not too bad. The Bentley desperately needs to win because isn't it losing to the Toyota Seven in points currently? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's losing to the R390, isn't it? Or is it the 7? I can't remember. Yeah, it's still in the lead. Nice! R89 had a massive... or R92 had a massive incident then, by the looks of it. I think I'm catching through some areas and then through other areas the car just... Like, I don't know why the fucking rear end loses over there. Everything else I've driven today has been absolutely fine for whatever reason. This car just does not like this track. Fifteen seconds on speed eight. Do you know what would be a really useful game? If you could like tell me how much distance I've got between me and like the guy in front of me, that'd be nice. Impossible. That'd actually be like some useful information. So I'm just watching the high note reel again, and... The what? Yeah. Oh, fuck I'm you. I'm watching the high note reel again. And then I spotted the shouting. Shouting? Yes. It's what? When I said finally. Ah. I had a feeling that it would be in there. I don't even remember what it was. Huh? I don't even remember what the finally thing is. Screamed out finally after I just after I beat the Lotus at least with a race car. Ah. Oh, yeah, that. Yes. Wasn't that from like your first stream? Huh? Wasn't that from like your first stream? No, it was the first stream as an affiliate. Ah, yes. Why are we lo Fucking, mm -hmm. if you're gonna behave like this, I'm just gonna run you on hards the entire time. I don't fucking. Mm. I don't understand. You should scrap it and sell it for parts of meal. I don't understand the issue here. Why would the car be thrown off balance if fucking there's mediums on front and cards on rear? <laughs> oh, fuck it, yeah, I've got nothing else to lose. May as well fucking have a experiment here. I gotta say, I'm enjoying Forza a lot more now that I've realised I'm not a pussy bitch, and the race setup advanced rules thing is really fucking good. Hmm. It's like what I told Scotia, he was just like, oh, this game isn't fun in career mode, it's like, oh, that's why you've been off career mode. Yeah, just completely. Just do your own races, it's pretty fun. Mm hmm. I wish there was a way to specify whether, like, the AI can upgrade their cars, but... There is. Really? Yeah. Where? Oh, do you mean, like... Oh, uh, no. Uh. Not in homology. Oh, yeah. Specify drivers can use cars with upgrade parts installed. It's on yes, but they don't. Allow tuning... Cars Yeah, the Seven's having a grand old time back here by looks of it. <laughs> oh, I'm so warm. You are hot. Yes. It I'm was like 28 in this shed. Why are you in a fucking shed? It's where I live, and it's where I sleep, and where I have this PC. 
Torrent is homeless confirmed. Torrent is an abused child. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he is a gypsy, so it could be worse. Oi. Okay. Yeah. Uh, five windows and a door open. Apparently the card does not Oops. like running two different tire compounds, so I guess we'll keep it on hard mm. from now on. So uh, yeah. I may have... I, sorry, sorry, but I killed my mic. It's fine. Oops. Yeah, no problem, dude. I've just realised how many fucking mods I have in Forza. Jesus. Not actual mods, like... Fucking mods. Yeah. And and fucking Jim Sterling was complaining about how this was pay to win. Yeah, that's what happens when you to be fair, on the, the offset game. it did look like with the whole loot box thing and shit, it would be more pay to win. Thank fuck they Forza haven't doesn't do pay to win. Falls has always had like the same four cars be the fucking leadboard yeah. cars and that'd be the end of that. Yeah, but still, it's how it looks. Like in Forza, it's literally just buy the Civic 037 Stradale, uh, the Elise is quick, and something else, and that's basically your leaderboard cars. The G Isn't the Elise GT1 really fucking fast, though? The Elise GT1's OP for its class, apparently. <laughs> well, it really fucking is, it handles like a dream. Yeah, so basically all you have to do is just put more power through it, and then it's good. Yeah. So. Now even stock it outperforms oh, a lot. Oh, stock is fantastic. That. Um, it's a brilliantly balanced car. Um, well, it suffers massively on the straight line, but still, it's really balanced with that in mind. It's fucking brilliant in the corners. Oh yeah, it's an excellent corner that. car. It's basically the Viper ACR, but mid-engine to rear drive, and you can actually upgrade it on like the ACR. Yeah. Because if you try and upgrade an ACR, it's just not going to end well. If you try to upgrade an ACR, Fries will come and they slap you. Yes. Yes, he would, and he slapped you. Anyways, yeah. yeah, two tire compounds don't work. Oh dear, you came fifth. We found fifth. out opposites don't attract. You found out autumn Well, at least the Bentley and the reverse. Master got third and second. That the fucking the leaderboard's going to be all over the place now. Yeah. Still ahead oh, of the R92. Okay, someone's cornering here. Uh, Bentley and the Mazda are tied. Toyota has dropped back, and the R390 is useless. That's pretty Honestly, easy. Looking at it from an objective, now is what it is. Thing, Forza's mm. Forza Seven. It's the best Forza game. It is. It's always been the best Forza game. Yes. Yeah, but still, it's with the new update that isn't out yet. But by the time you listen to this, it'll be out for fucking. If you listen to this, will probably be another update to the update. Yeah, it's false. <laughs> they probably unleashed like... the wrong update. Yeah, but with like the fucking update to where <laughs> cars just aren't locked for arbitrary reasons. That was my biggest problem with this game. Uh, right. Yes. Downforce. No. Yes, Bitcomet, I know you're updating. Stop notifying me. Go uh, 25, because fuck it. There's an Alfa Romeo in the driveway. Boomer. Oh, yeah, what happened to your neighbor with the V8 Vantage convertible? Oh, it wasn't a neighbor, it was a prom car. A prom oh, car. oh, hey, that's the Ford Mondeo that's for sale. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good, the Ford Mondeo's for sale. I've seen it on a Facebook page. Oh, dear. It's like Never a... buy cars. Oh, no, that's no, cool. It's pretty good, they like, are asking a grand for it. So. It's like Still, never cool. buy cars and buy and sell Facebook oh, pages. Oh, God, no, of course not. I'm not going to do it. Good. Mm. I'm just Waiting for the people in the audience. Feel the speed. Power. Holy shit, power. <laughs> Holy shit, power. Okay, good. 
270, I think that's stable enough. <laughs> yeah. I think it's stable enough to pretty much secure the fact that we are going to win this one. <sighs> so we're guaranteed 10 points from this, guaranteed 10 points from Wasaf. Um, hey. Another 10 probably from the Noy Boyga. So, the Noy boy. Everything is coming up trumps, I think. Everything is going up. Everything is going up a meal. Hmm? Everything is going up a meal. Yes. I need to get some more coffee down my throat at some point. Yeah, you do. Can you do that, knackers. Yeah, this is what happens when I wake up at like 12 o'clock. Jeez. I woke up at half 10, you lazy bastard. Yeah, but I was up until 3am editing, so... To be fair, oh, I actually yeah. got up at 10. Four, but... I still got up. I actually got up at 10, and then... No, I watched a fail race video and that put me to sleep. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah, Neil. Mm. Speaking of editing, have you done the f thumbnails yet? No. Why not? You won't do the thumbnails. <laughs> I mean, you can. They're literally on the computer. I just need to screenshot them and add the text. You fucking kidding? I don't. I need to commission the fucking SRS thumbnail. Commission? Yeah, I've got an idea for it. Oh. Yes. I want like. Does it involve titties? Partly. Yes. Oh, good. Well, I mean, the one is, if I don't, like, know what I'm doing, I'm just going to use one of the fucking CG videos, just press fucking print screen and put the thumbnail text over it. But, um, if not, I kind of got, like, this idea for, like, a, almost like a GTA-style thumbnail. Oh. Like, where it's four split perspectives, on one side you have the Eclipse, on the other side you have the Impressive, and then you just have the female. A female. They don't like being called that. They like to be called thoughts. Well, I don't like the word girl. And... Lady. Mm. They're not ladies, they're fucking hookers. They are glorious ladies. You know you can Google every single one of them and they've got like fucking... Like, it's all porn, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> yeah, even the redhead one who has like one video in the entire game. Have you found the one that dances to microphone check, though? Yes, we have, actually. <gasps> Wait, what? We found two of them. Nice! <laughs> I can't remember. The first one, fucking... The, it was the girl the chat wanted to see, like, fucking Aiko or whatever her name was. I was just like, eh, I'm not really that into her. And then she started dancing into microphone check, and I was like, okay, this is better. <laughs> I appreciate the female, now. I don't know. Every time I say Aiko, I just think of the character from. Every time I say the word Aiko, I just think of the girl from Honeypot. Of course. The maths teacher. Well, specifically, the Asian maths teacher because stereotypes. Mm hmm. 30 seconds ahead of the Nishan. There's even grass on test scores. Yeah. I don't want to drive home instead. Hi. Shit. Hi. And Hi. also pit lane finish. Oh. Well, you know, gotta be cock. Oh my god, the R390 got third. <gasps> oh, the Bentley's beating the 787B currently. Oh. I like how the Bentley, I, I said this to Inferno on the first take, I like how the Bentley is like the 2003 Le Mans winner and it gets its shit pushed in by the 90, the 91 Le Mans winner and by <laughs> the Nissan race car, I don't think I actually managed to do jack shit <laughs> ever. Wait. I don't think the R92 is actually famous for anything. Oh god. Hold on. The R92 CP entered six races in in the All Japan Championship and won all six. He entered. Oh. Interesting. Hmm. 
but still in the grand scheme of things it didn't actually do that much to be able to beat the Bentley Speed 8. Oh dear. Which is, let's be honest, the only reason it won is because it's this thing called an Audi R8 and I'm first saying an Audi won pretty much every single one modern from like 2001 to 2015 or something. It's called diesel. Why did Audi pull out Le Mans again? Because they're pussies. No, because Porsche wanted to be the one that got all the motorsports victories. Yeah, so they can brag about it in commercials. Yeah. So they can take can the piss. Just sell, that doesn't make just sell shit cars. I mean, someone posted in fucking... HG the other day a video called eight cars with the most rear engines. What? Work out if that what? one makes any like yeah, sense. Yeah, it does obviously. It, like, it doesn't. Yeah, no. For example, a car with two engines technically has more rear engines than a car with one engine. <laughs> no, it was rear as in R A R E. Oh, uh, I thought you said rear engines. But fun fact yeah, about shape. it. The video was bullshit anyway, because fucking the thumbnails of the beast, which doesn't beast. have a rear engine, it just so happens to have the engine, well it happens to have a Merlin aeroplane engine, so, not even... Oh, that beast, I was gonna, I was gonna say the beast that's in the limo, or Brock Lesnar. No, the old, it's not a limo, it's a fucking, it's like, some weird stretched fucking Reliant Scimitar thing. What? Or at least it looks like a Reliant Scimitar. Princess Anne had Reliant one, you know. Scimitar. It's got a great story to it, though. The fucking Rolls Royce tried to sue the guy because he put a Rolls Royce grill on it. So he <laughs> drove the beast to court. Bear in mind, this is like a 27 litre V12 powered. 850 horsepower road car in the 70s. Um, yeah. So he drove his car, oh. and fucking the 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 judge said you've got a cavalier attitude. So he took the judge's word to heart, and the next day arrived to the court on a horse. <laughs> <laughs> like an actual white horse. So, well, oh, imagine having balls that big, though. What about the Brutus? Uh, how did he move? That exactly. He's still around, I think. He makes automatic gearboxes now. That's the only reason he ever had the Beast. What, to make auto slush boxes? No, they needed a gearbox that could actually handle a 27 litre engine. Hmm. So, they called him and said, got anything, and he was just like, okay, made him. Those cones fell beautifully. Made some like automatic gearbox and then decided he liked the car so much he decided to keep it. <laughs> yes. Ah, oh, bless him. He's still alive, Emil. I think. Emil, there's the car named the Beast and then there's the car named the Brutus. Oh yes, Brutus. <coughs> and then there's the Rolls Royce thing as well. Bentley, wasn't it? Yeah, the Bentley. That also has a Merlin engine in it, actually. Oh. Oh. Well, the Toyota was beating the Bentley. How? I'm assuming this is going to be another one of those weird races where the it's basically Laguna Seca all over again, where for some reason I can't keep up with the R92 because the R92 is O fucking P. <laughs> and I don't know how. Uh, it's VTEC power of dreams. Oh yeah, I forgot Honda's got an engine they call Earth Dreams now. <laughs> Why? I don't know. It's because the same it's the engine they put in fucking CRV. I think. That sounds about right. And the HRV. <coughs> yeah, CRV's not that bad. It's not as cool as it used to be when it had a fridge in the glove box, but or fridge on the dashboard, but well, I mean, that would quite literally make it cooler, so... You're not funny. Are you aware of the dashboard thing? I always uh, thought the CR no. 
V was boring, and then I looked at one, and there was this strange hole in the dash, and I was like, ah, oh, that's a shit design quirk. And then I zoomed in on it, <laughs> and it says this little thing next to it says, cool box. It has a box in the dashboard where you can cool things. Don't like yeah, that's amazing. That is the is best that work not... feature. Mm. Is that not like a thing where like cars are cool glove boxes? I swear. No, it's not like... a glove box. It's just a random hole in the dash for which you can put cool things I... into. I feel like that wouldn't be very effective. Yes, I mean even the Toyota Seven's brakes, but it still was beating the Bentley at one point. Yeah, the Toyota Seven was literally insanity. It's also backwards at the moment. Called the flying wedge for a reason. Because it's the backwards flying at the what? moment. I like how this car, I'm fairly certain it has the same engine Dude, noise like, as like oh a car from Grand Turismo 2 does. <laughs> Who ripped? Oh no. Oh, Daniel. Oh well. Damn, Daniel. I keep forgetting oh. that I've got the sound off, so uh, I don't hear when people leave or join. Do you know what you hear? Good. What? The sound of silence. Probably. Still like the disturbed version of that song. Even if it's like the only fucking disturbed song normies recognise. Whereas of course the song about child abuse is kind of a bit excessive. Not really a fan of that song to be honest with you. Wouldn't assume you are. <laughs> like the fucking... it's a great song until you get to the middle of it. When I'm fairly certain his mother keeps hitting him, so he turns around like fucking rips her eye sockets out or something. Oh, lovely! Mm. I hate when that happens. <laughs> happens a lot in Wales, doesn't it? Yep. I mean, to be honest with you, in Wales they probably sell like actual human meat. So, what do you mean probably? I feel like I need to make like well, that North Korean press tape thing, but for Wales. <laughs> <laughs> like that thing where the just North, that North Korean soldiers. That thing in the North Korea where they're like, oh, these are Americans. They have no money. They are cold and yeah. drink coffee off of trees. <laughs> and sleep in blankets supplied to them by Korea. Need one they, are whales. E they are evil. They are evil. They eat blue whales for breakfast. Just mm. like film some fucking like random sheep pen and say these are Welsh people. <laughs> I mean, that's not wrong. This is what the Welsh education system looks like. Again, not that's wrong. Sheep, Every day, Welsh children are sheared. Every time I snap my fingers, no, I'm it's not either, a Welsh no, it's either uh, it's either they're in a sheep pen or they're in a sheep pen, and, and Jeremy Corbyn's the shepherd. Oh God, fucking Corbyn. Not, not Corbyn. Not, not Corbyn. Not, not Corbyn. Not, not huh? Corbyn. Corbyn isn't allowed in Wales. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's Theresa May after she ran through those wheat fields. But the economy still hasn't recovered. <laughs> it's Wales, the economy will never recover. <laughs> well, damn, the economy is all shit. I've been in there, and ever since I've been there, I've been on a downward trajectory. Depressing, isn't it? Everything's depressing. I think I need some more Gordon Ramsay shouting at people to make myself feel better. What are you, idiot sandwich? It's fucking raw! You know that's a fake clip, right? I like that. <laughs> so it's a bison. It looks like a bison's penis. What is it? Oh yeah, the fucking bison's penis one. It's <laughs> <laughs> great. <laughs> you, 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 and fucking you. Fuck off. Fuck off! <laughs> oh, I don't know what to do. She's fucking worrying about makeup. She's got her head up her ass, and she doesn't know what the fuck's going on. What are you gonna do? Have a little cry? No. Also, the rear tires are molting. 
The rear tires are dead. I didn't realise Grand Valley would kill the fucking tires, but I don't know. It's a long track. Can't lose the R three ninety. That would be bad. It's a long track and it's rear wheel drive. What do you expect? No, it's nice four wheel drive. I'm losing to the R390 because it fucking bullied me out of position. <laughs> I fucking hate that. Oh, there's a yeah. gap there! I died down the in time! Like, please don't. Fucking R390. Please don't. Please don't die. Please, please. So I'm fucking... What I want to know is I drove the R89 CP, which, let's be honest, basically the same car. And it survived for like six laps on mediums, but this dies after one lap, or well, six laps on hards for some reason. Yeah. yeah it's fucking stupid. This race is like a lap too long. Yeah. Also, I have no idea how the fucking Toyota 7 managed to come back, but whatever. Doesn't really matter. How does this affect the championship standing? Oh, this championship. It doesn't affect them at all. Yeah, it does. R92 overtakes me, everything else doesn't really matter. I don't oh, think anything no, else can actually. Place with three points behind. Oh, whatever shall you do. We basically need the R92 to fuck up something. Hmm. Which shouldn't be too difficult. It's basically a case of fuck I don't actually know what the next track is. Uh, Suzuka. Ah, oh, shit. I fucking hate Suzuka. Then again, I drove it in the Chaparral. I don't know what it'd be like. Oh, yeah, Chaparral, Infineon, and then Le Mans, Nurburgring. Yeah. Infineon, I actually, now that I've got a half decent car, I actually stand to make a decent impact to Infineon. Yeah, because it's. Yeah, and also it's the stock car course. Yeah, I think we might actually have a chance there. Here might be a little bit sour because fucking I hate Suzuka. I don't even hate Suzuka, it just fucking depends what car you're in. Like, sometimes mm. I don't mind this track, other times I wish I was fucking dead when I drive it. This has got a couple of nice corner cutting opportunities. I've not got the downforce to take that flat out, and now that I have to go on the brakes, yeah, that's fucking gonna happen. I need coffee. Yeah. It's such shit. Yeah, no shit. Mind you, I've only got nine seconds to gain on the R92 so far. I mean, realistically, R92 wins, let's say, proverbially, the R92 wins this. Mm -hmm. If I can get to, like, second or third, I'm definitely winning at Le Mans. I don't think that's even remotely in question. What about Nürburgring? Easy. Probably gonna win there, to be honest with you. Because there's a massive straight which sort of helps me out significantly. There's a massive straight. Also, I've got this. There we go. It's fucking reminding me of driving the bastard Celines around here. So, that what did I miss? Sorry, I left. Mm. Uh, Grand Valley Speedway was a fucking throwaway. Nice. Because apparently the tyres can't fucking last for six laps. Yet yeah, they can survive. I really shouldn't have done that. That was fucking stupid. Not bad. Alrighty. Meanwhile on QI Facebook, in ancient Egypt, when your cat died, you were expected to shave your eyebrows as a sign of mourning. <laughs> yeah, cats were gods, remember? Yeah. I mean, you say it like they aren't they? I don't like cats. 
Well, I don't hate cats. I just don't particularly. Well, Emil, you'd rather kick a cat than keep a than keep a cat. No, I, I wouldn't kick a fucking animal, Jesus. I'm not that bad. If I wanted to kick an animal, if I wanted to kick an animal, I'd kick a chap. Just make sure they don't have like 75 people behind them to make them look tough. Hmm. Fucking, they won't do anything. Will they? I think I need more traction control, lads. Because holy yeah, shit, because the fucking it... rear tires are slipping like a motherfucker at the moment for some reason. Yeah, it also appears that you're like 40 seconds behind. 20. Still. Yeah, we'll see how fucking race progresses. If we get to four laps and there's no change, I have an idea. Oh no. Might have to go and fuck the R92's day up. Oh no. I don't understand it though, I don't quite understand yeah. why the R92 is supposed to be so ridiculously good. Just because it's so ridiculously fast. But it shouldn't be. It's not even that good a car. Yeah. Yeah, but remember, this is the this is the GT4 AI. They'll make anything good. Way. Yeah, it's called catch up. Oh. I know what the fucking issue is with the way this car's driving. Hmm. Is it the driver? I oh put... no 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 no! I know. I didn't put the fucking downfalls back on this, did I? Yep. Fucking yeah. idiot. I've just figured that out. You oh, took off God. the downforce to the test course, and obviously you didn't put it back on. Yeah, that's why. Oh, the so, there's the reason why it's slipping and sliding so goddamn much. Yeah. To be fair, it's kind of felt loose since autumn rings, to be honest with you. Whoa. I can cope with the fourth, though. God. In 2017, a group of Detroit police posing as drug dealers attempted to arrest another group of Detroit police posing as drug drug buyers. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Nice. God damn it. I wonder how that turned out at the station. I don't know. I reckon they argued about who had the right to remain silent. I can still beat the R92 though. It's no major issue. He's what, four points ahead of me at the moment? Hmm? He's four points ahead of me at the moment, so if he got first and I got second, we'd be tied. With the way this is going... I think if I win the next three races, if he gets second, that's, bear in mind, if he doesn't, like, get destroyed by something else, we might be alright. And if you put the downforce back? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a number of little tweaks to the car. I'd like fourth here, to be honest with you. I'm catching whatever's in fourth. It's the R390, I think. Yeah, I wasn't even. The, the worst bit is I wasn't actually going to even tweak the car's self for test course. No, I'm seriously disappointed in you. Not as disappointed as I am. Then again, I'm fucking disappointed in you lot for not picking it up earlier. So you know, <laughs> the blame goes both ways. Well, you. Uh, uh, that's the blame, the blame goes I'm both ways, junk. motherfuckers. Hey, that's that's why you have a surrounding me all. Exactly, yeah. I get you around to fucking <laughs> check my f fucking shit, so quite frankly, it's your fault, not my fault. Oh, I thought we were just scapegoats. <laughs> and that's what you're doing right now. It's your fault. Yes. Yeah, Boots, it's your fault. Yeah. Well, you, yeah. Here's the finger, Mill. There we go, we've got an ace so blame boost. <laughs> here's the finger, Mill, though. You say it's a two way street, here's the thing. 
you fuck us around sometimes, so we fuck you around sometimes. There's uh, a point. You didn't even pick it up. I'm just not even <laughs> Exactly, here. but it's... Well, you didn't pick it up, you literally you said, oh, I just remembered... Yeah. Oh, actually, that's a point. I forgot, yeah, you didn't actually change it, did you? So... He was trying yeah, to think of your feelings. He did. Because we care about your feelings a lot, and definitely... I don't care about my own feelings. Don't pretend to care about mine for me. But I do care about you. Don't I lie like that, the that's you, cruel. When the hell did you start caring? To the... Yeah, but much. I focus. Do some research for me, because you're the skyline way to No. The only thing that's. What do you want me to look up? This land skyline. The Zed Shield. What side feels did it have? I believe they're 19. 18. Oh, good, it's on 19s. It's 18 or 19s, I think. I'm making a Zed Tune. Uh, hang on. Bom, bom. Mia, what the fuck are you singing? Have you never heard Johnny Cash's version of her? No. According to Reddit, it's the best, uh, the best cover ever, and that's all I know about it. Um, Reddit? it's oh. pretty good. I've never heard the original, to be honest with you, because fucking Nine Inch Nails did like one good song. <laughs> As you know, they did Yay. two good songs. I don't know, their thing was like supposed to be like, oh look at me, we're edgy metal, we truth be told they're just nice background music. So edgy. Also there was that song about them like caging women up all the room, fan of that. Hmm. Listen, the best song about sex is Rammstein's Pussy, which is a great song and I recommend you listen to that. No. Uh, we are... shit. Alright, we've basically got to win every single next race. If the R92 is going to get second. Oh, we're going to win. Oh, no, we're not. Yeah, we fucking are. No, we're not, because remember, I mean, win or remember lose, this is, this is still being the episode, because I can't be fucked to re record it again, so. Yeah, because, yeah, and then, yeah, because what you can do is you can just say. Uh, and the final race, so we're doing win. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to redo do it, do a thing and editing editing what the winning car is. I think I've done that at some point. I can't remember what for though. You see, the thing is, what this does is it keeps the audience in suspense. They don't know. They're gonna think. Oh that yeah, we're always I genuinely win. don't know either. Hmm. Yeah. So if. If we lose, then the audience isn't going to expect it. They're going to expect us to win. I expect to win. To be honest, my expectations for winning were lost long ago. Why? Well, because... Have you seen a mill drive in this game? That's just because he didn't I can drive well occasionally. Game. It depends on what car it is. These race cars, I can't fucking... I don't know. Yeah, but no one can drive race cars. But then again, I don't like driving race cars in any game, so... Race car driving. Like, unless it's GT Sport, because, like, they drive better than fucking road cars do. I mean, sorry, 787B, but... Gotta make my way up. <laughs> <sighs> grip! Glorious grip! How I have missed you. No? Okay. No. No. Oh. You suck. No. Oh. You too. You swallow. Grip, glorious no. grip. No, you. Your mother should have. Good value from Tesco's. This is gone. You've gone on the grass. You've also slammed into a wall. I haven't actually done any of that, it's just that really didn't pan out quite the way I wanted it to be. So tell me what you want. I want a brand new... Are we really doing this? Yes. yes. Okay. we all just want to be big rock stars and live in hilltop houses driving 20 cars. It was 15. I want to fucking... I want to drive 20. 
Okay, let yeah, me revise it. Three, two, one. And we all just want to be big rock stars and live in hilltop garages, driving 150 however many cars I've got in my garage. TVRs are easy, but the Bentley got air. <laughs> Everybody wants to be in our first E4. <laughs> Hey, hey, I wanna be a skyline. Well, just so you can be hoarded by Kaz. Yeah. I wanna be spanked by Daddy Japan. <laughs> Genuine oh, question, God. how many R34s do you think he has actually owned in his lifetime? I'm gonna guess over 30. <laughs> 100 pounds says his daily driver at the moment is a GTR that got given to him because they did the computers for it. Uh, let's find out. But I know I'm just gonna he, he's definitely had a um, he had a GT3, didn't he? And he's also had a Evo 5 with a paint job on it. Yes. Because the 99 that was the whole reason there was a 996 in GT3's code, and also the whole reason he's got. Um, I think in Gran Turismo 2 there was supposed to be a, the race mod for the Evo 5 was supposed to be not the Puma one. It's supposed to be some ads because it was the livery. I think it was the HKS livery. I think Kaz got like the Time Attack cars livery or something. I can't remember. Oh hey, Kaz is like actually a racing driver and stuff. He does actually. Of course he fucking does. Well, yeah. Gran Turismo's like, was... like I don't even think he cares about Gran Turismo at this point. He's just using it as a vehicle to drive shit, which is you know fair play. <laughs> yeah. Then again, I can't say anything. Fucking the turn ten boss so basically only gets free cars. So. Like that's the reason fucking he drives a Ford GT, which he keeps in the fucking offices to remind everyone to work harder. I think. Oh, uh, hang on a second, Kaz. I can confirm Kaz has had an R32, but it was a Volkswagen R32. Oh, that Volkswagen like gave him. An R32, uh, a Golf R32 for promoting the brand in uh, Gran Turismo games. I bet that's been sold. Probably. Also, we got an Nissan GTR for yeah. Yeah, doing, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Displays. Yeah. yeah. No shit. Uh, oh, he owns two Ford GTs in real life. Why do you need two of them? I don't know. Apparently, I can figure out from just driving one in a game. It's a fucking boat. Yeah, but apparently he, yeah, it's his favourite car design, so whatever. Hmm. That'd explain why the Ford GT in Gran Turismo is always mysteriously good. That probably also explains why it's the cover car. Yeah. I just like to imagine, you know, he's, he's just sort of gets into hard arguments with the uh, with the programmers over like they're trying to balance cars out and stuff, and he's just like, no, I really like the. The way this one looks, make it OP. Actually, do you want to have a little bet? What? I bet every single car that's been on a Gran Turismo cover, he has owned one of them. Uh, so let's go you've through. got the GTR from Gran Turismo 5, which obviously he has. Uh, it was a Mercedes SLS, wasn't it? Mm, no, depends which one you got. Uh, yeah. I know I'd... on my version it's a Academy Edition, so it's got GT. Yeah, uh, yeah, I've got an SLS on mine, I think. Mm. He probably has an SLS. Hang on, that, that's just I'm just gonna fucking paste his name. the SLS in GT5. It was like fucking they had uh, the models for it and everything. What car does Kaz drive? I bet if you understood Japanese, he probably tweets about them all the time. Oh, he has a... According to a Top Gear interview, uh, he drives his Nissan GTR most of the time, but he's also got a Ford GT, a 911 GT3, an SL AMG, and a Honda S2000 race car. He also has a yep. C6 ZR1. Yep. Uh, 350Z for a while. Yep. Uh, let's see, what else... Hmm. Have you noticed something? What? All those have been Gran Turismo cover cars at some point. Hmm. 
fairly um, certain the Z was in one of the GT concept discs, maybe. Corvette's on the cover of GT PSP. Apparently Kaz's S2000 kind of looks like the Oprah tuned S2000. Yeah, the Oprah, one of the S... I think the Amused GT1 was specially designed for this game, and I think it's one of the other S2000s was as well. <gasps> Fuck you! Go on, go off. Crash, die. Horribly. Shit. I need him to get fucked up. That's the issue. But I'm trying to remember the golden rule I laid out with Inferno earlier. Um. Do not bully. Yeah. Oh, um, Thunder's first. mentioned. Also, what the thing. hell? Why is that? Why is that one stop? It's the Toyota Seven. <laughs> nah. That just sort of happens to the Toyota Seven. No, you just um, wait. You just wait till the Formula GT Championship. In Azza's word, the Toyota Seven is a bit shit. I mean, it was like one of the first twin turbo cars ever. I mean, unless you use it for the compact car cup, in which case you can pretty much annihilate anything. Miss <laughs> Emil, if you have, if you send that, you should wait till the Formula GT. You can beat the Formula GT is not difficult. You know you can beat Formula GT and not a Formula GT car, right? Mm, yeah, but I like you can actually Formula just GT use the seven eight seven B. Yeah, but I use a Formula GT car. Yeah, I used them in Grand Turismo 3, it was piss easy. The only difference is in this game is there's not millions of them, there's only one Formula GT. Unlike in yeah. the previous game where it was 001 and 002. It was, it was naturally aspirated or turbo. Yes, and the naturally aspirated... Actually, no, I think the NA one was the quicker. And across the line, there's part one of our comeback tour done. I did beat the honor up, too. Come on. All right. Thunder's um, announcing a thing. Oh God, what What's thing? he announced? Well, it's uh, something to do with the fact that he's losing his sanity. Uh. I hate Vine. <laughs> I hate Vine. Mm. I can't help him on that. Isn't Vine dead? Yeah. Well, well, I was going to say, if you don't want to, him to do Vines, you could suggest to him, instead, why don't you do, why don't you just do a shitpost compilation like <gasps> I do? Chicanes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, praise track. everything! And it's only two laps as well, which means easy. I hope the R92 gets dicked. If the R92 gets dicked, I can go into Nurburgring happy. Mm. If it Harper. doesn't get dicked, then I need to start thinking about my collective future. Okay. Yes, you, you should. Also, I didn't shoot in the gear ratios, but I think they're fine. Think. Gotta remember, this is the old Nurburgring layout that has a weird corner here. Nurburgring? Yeah, Nurburgring changed a lot in about five years between this and Forza 3, so gotta remember. <laughs> it's a little bit weirder in this game. Also, I'm What was the first game to have the Nurburgring in? This, I think. Alright. Yeah, I was wondering because... I think it because uh, it was a big selling point. Yeah. So I think they... Yeah. This was like the first big game to have it. I think some of the Formula... Grand, like the Formula 1 games might have had like Nürburgring GP or something. Because that's existed mm. since the 80s. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking the Toyota 7 is currently keeping up with the R92. 
Gotta remember to set tarmac through there. If I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I like how it's the fucking Toyota 7 versus the R92 at the moment. Hey! Hi. Uh, uh, that's not quite what I wanted to do. What? Speak to me? No. No. Oh, Never. The fucking Toyota 7 goes now with R92's got the fucking. Who's? Yeah. Why don't you like me? I don't think we have enough time to go over all the reasons. <laughs> so I've got. I'm, revi I'm like revising for an exam, right? Here's the mm. question about PC. What seals the tiny gaps between the CPU cap and the heatsink? Here are the three possible, well, three or four possible possible answers. Grape jelly. Yes. Probably oh, yeah. putty. I use that. <laughs> three and one household oil. Putty, no, that's it? what. That's how you overclock your CPU. You yeah, you actually just pour jelly in it, and that uh, that improves the graphics. That's not overclocking. Well. That's how you make it run better. Jesus Christ, you're gonna kill your PC. No, no it's a graphics jelly booster. Jelly is how you make your computer run more efficiently. <laughs> it's a graphics booster, all right. <laughs> Look, don't blame me when I'm running Crisis at almost five FPS. Fucking Crisis, aren't you too like old, to, or too young to fucking remember those memes? Uh, to be fair, I don't crisis. think he has any idea what he's talking about. No, what's Crisis? Is that like a type of sandwich? Is Crisis even still a thing anymore? Probably not. I believe so. it is. I played it the second like game, that. mostly because all the fucking PC Master Race people hate that game. Why? Because how dare they released it on console! <laughs> there is... There's rumours of Crisis 4 being open world. Who the fuck cares about Crisis? Who the fuck yeah, cares about open world games anymore? Well, didn't it literally exist just to show off some graphics or yes. something? There was three of them. I don't know that much. No, the, the first one to use the engine was Far Cry. Huh. <gasps> what? Nothing. I'm just pretending to be surprised. Can you not? No. Because it's an... Yeah, it's pretending to be surprised because it's an Ubisoft game. Ubisoft. Do you remember when Ubisoft weren't making the video game equivalent of just the feeling in your stomach after a particularly bad no, I, I would say they made the video game equivalent of Marmite. Did that succeed? The thing is, apparently everyone seems to love the. No crew one two. saw that, by the way. The crew uh, two. Crew two, two is fucking broke. It doesn't exist. To be honest, it just doesn't do it. Like, I didn't. For care me, the main the thing with the crew, buy a second one. the the crew is the map. Is yeah. it all about the map? Yeah. And this new one, I don't. I know they've improved the map, but it's just less interesting. I'm not sure whether it's just because I've been. No, no. Do you know what it is now. for me? What? The whole selling point of the crew was the map. Why do I want to play the same map again? Exactly. Like, well, no, I've it has changed quite a lot. Like, no one. It, the whole world changes quite a lot. But they've still got fucking floating trees in fucking St. Louis. Huh. Yeah, no, the, no, the different cities do actually feel different now. It isn't just like you get you go to a big city and it Still could just be care. New York. The other issue is I don't see the point of buying it on like Xbox because no one fucking plays it on Xbox. Yeah. If I wanted to play, play it with Angel, I'd buy it on PC. But I mean, apparently my Ubisoft account's getting fucking hacked from fucking Serbia right now. So oops. <laughs> no, wasn't wasn't it getting hacked from India? No, no, it's from every single place in the country at the moment. I've had like 10 emails over the past three days saying, your Ubisoft account's being suspicious activity. 
But every time you click on the thing, it says enter your username and password. So I've got a funny feeling it's just some like fucking fake scam bullshit. Probably. Nah, sounds legit okay, to me. I just found the answer. So it's obvious it's thermal compound, right? Thermal compound is used to seal the small gas between the CPU and heat sink. It is sometimes referred to as thermal gel or jelly, but not grape jelly. Did I ever tell you about the time I found grape jelly inside a customer's computer? What? Amazing. <laughs> Also, yeah. never use petroleum-based products like 3-in-1 oil or WD-40. What are you on about? You put WD-40 in it to make the CPU stuff move faster. <laughs> no, <laughs> makes you don't... It, makes it run smoother. Well, the yeah, CPU it does. The CPU isn't supposed to move, that's why you duct tape it down. <laughs> Part 2 yeah. of the comeback tour. Come on, 787B, beat the R92. You fucking disappointment. That hit too close to home. Oh no. Alright. Three points. It comes down to the Nürburgring. It's coming home! It's coming! Don't say that. That probably guarantees <laughs> it doesn't come home. My father reckons it's coming home. It's, it's not. I, I, I don't care. Uh, yeah, I was about to say, why do you care so much? I'm not sure what it's just because I'm the in the wrong country. The problem is, either way, or... England's going to catch fire at some point. Whether the wind... <laughs> It'll be great it's catching fire already! Have you been outside? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure I'm BMW X5, so maybe I do need to set things on fire. Emil, I saw a BMW X6, so I set it on fire. Good. Hey, Boost, I found you a good first car, by the way. Oh, no. I was just on Car and Classic the other day. Just fucking around. Oh. No, I, found, I, I found, found a car I found, which I, I found completely a great forgot car existed. I found, oh. I found a great car for boost. I saw on the road today a Triumph <laughs> Dolomite Sprint. Oh, no, no, this one's actually I kind would have of that, to be not honest. meme, I guess. <laughs> I found, or I found on fucking Car and Classic a Suzuki Ignis Sport. Oh, oh. I have one of those. I legit. I, it was a Grand. Yes. A Grand Ignis. Yeah. What engine do they have in them? 1.5. I think it's the same yeah, one too they big put then. in Swift in the end. Um, because it's the Ignis, you might get away with it. Yeah, it's got Sport in the name, which means that they'll find a way to shove the insurance prices up. Yeah, a million. Suzuki actually these days. About 10 years ago, you probably could have easily got away with it because Suzuki was like, "What do they do? Wagon R? Okay, cool. We're we'll safe." <laughs> yeah. Nowadays. What do you mean they also built the high booster? What are you on about? Oh, no one cares about the black booster. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out of the way! Actually, I would what? quite like to uh, oh, high booster swap. Oh, so fat as a piece of fucking shit, Nessan. Ah. Meanwhile. I hate dry. Do you know what the worst thing is? What? I don't actually hate this track anymore in this game, but I hate fucking racing on it with AIs. Because it's so fucking tight and the AI don't fucking know where you are. It's like racing it in GT Sport's the same bullshit. Then again, in GT Sport you can do this thing called avoiding it. Impossible. Come on, Jaguar. Why did you pick a Jaguar? Because it's literally the only car that would have worked for this. Mm. We've already had three fucking cars already. And none of them worked. And besides this championship was supposed to take fucking... what? One and a half hours. It's, probably it's taken nearly three. I just remembered something about this race. What? Well, the wiki article says cars should start spinning off after about a lap or so. Right. Mazda's oh. done. McLaren's done. 10 seconds to the R92. I'm sorry, I'm having to go into slight try hard mode here. Okay. So you might have to keep the conversation. Yeah. I'm a little bit struggling up the hill. 
I like how when I said you might have to keep conversation afloat, but conversation dies. Yeah. I got pasta! What sort yeah, of pasta? pasta. Woo. Cheers, we can harm. Yeah. What's a pasta? It's a form of deodorant. No, it's not. I think it's Bentley, please. Okay. Thank you. You are now third. Congratulations. I'd need first. I can't get anything less than first. I'm fucking super scared about no, overtaking you, Toyota. Five points behind the R92, aren't you? Three. Bad. Fuck off! Get off the wall! I've got three points... Oh, the R92's ahead of three points. For ten, uh, for first you get ten points, for second you get six points. Mm -hmm. I think it's one anyway. No. No. If I'm three points behind and I get four points in this race and he gets six points, oh, yeah, I get four points ahead, I win by a point. A whole point. This is where I'm going to lose time though because I hate this section. God, this you want to do this best cool. you've ever done, Emil. Dude, I did that section in RX7, that's difficult as it is. It's alright. Problem is, on this section, I constantly forget where I it's am. It's easier. As a. It's easier to launch nuclear missiles. Well, I mean, you only need a fucking button to. Ah! Noise! I got a new friend invite on Steam. Oh, Go good. Fuck die. Oh, fuck off. Is 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 the name is the name Emil? No. <laughs> some eight some BB in front of me might not actually be that bad a thing. Oh, fuck off. Kill him. Fucking get to touch the grass all the fucking time. Well, now you're gonna be on the straight, so yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna use him. Good here. You're good here. Yeah. You know it. Go on, you fucking. Twenty, I can make twenty. Yeah, you can. what I wanted, I need you for the fucking slipstream. Slipstream, you're going boss. Awesome. Fuck yeah, it, I'm taking on. my usual line through here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it works. Ish. He spun round. And? He was still fast. Usually through there, that was also, actually fast. Also, it's probably even down. further behind. Fifteen. You've made up five whole seconds. He's lost. I closed seven seconds on the straight. So I need eight seconds for here, basically. Are you using the thumbsticks for accelerating brake? No. You're a fucking idiot. No, I'm not. I know no. how to fucking use control correctly. So, um, at holiday I was... Disturbed by an excavator, now I'm disturbed by a lorry. Slow right the fuck down. Have a if this goes perfect, I don't know. I don't know. grass, good. Uh, I believe. Second gear, come on. I need to do the fucking Toyota 7 here at some point. Hmm? 
I need to fucking do the Toyota 7 before the fucking bit at the end of the hill. Yeah. That's it, cut that corner. It's quicker. You've gone no faster. Yeah, you I'm didn't... a little bit ahead of what I was. It was like 13.9 something, now it's 13.5. Any improvement is an improvement. Shit, they don't want to first gear through there. Come on. Motherfucker, stop bouncing. Should have really softened the suspension up for this, but whatever. Meh. Alright, if I can get past you. Just be glad there's no penalties in this race. Fucking hell yeah. Fucking no more penalties in the rest of the game, thankfully. Ah, oh, fuck. Bouncing everywhere. Thanks, Toyota 7. You've always had my back. I appreciate it. Yay. Friendship. Shit, my fucking tyres are fucked on the ring. Oh, fuck you. Fucking tank slapper. Ah. Ideally, you should have put on hard tyres. It's got fucking hards on it. <laughs> okay, you should have put super hards on it. They're shit. Super hards don't work in this game. Yes, they do. No, they don't. They work fucking for me. hell. That's pulled its back bit. Well, regular hards would have worked even better. Come on, he's got to be losing his tire grip a bit now. Well, I think he's slowing down a little bit. Yeah. We're against Soy you. Yeah, but he's on mediums. Oh, man. Also, that was a really nice breeze. <sighs> oh, really? Fucking AI! Fucking what the fuck? Did we not fucking program AI to fucking recognise the fact you're fucking there? Oh, 17 fucking seconds. Mm -hmm. Unless I can't do shit. I literally can't do shit. Fucking stupid. Yeah, I'm just gonna get fucking pass by everything there. Fucking no rear fucking tires. Oh! Oh! Well that helps! Oh yes! Oh! <laughs> yes! <gasps> what in the hell? Problem is I've got to nurse at home now. And that's an issue because fucking the rear tires are balked the fuck. Rear tires are no longer tires. They're wheels. Oh, hang on. Surely, mm. if you come fourth and that comes last, what about the 787B? We'll tie. 787B is out of the picture. Problem is, we'll fucking tie, which I don't really want. Because that could probably mean that the R92 will win anyway. Yeah, the game's usually. Rules in favour of the game on the tyres. Mm. That being said, I've got the straight coming up. Come on, car. Just gotta get home. Just make sure it doesn't randomly spin out on the straight. Oh no! No, that's fine. Come on. Go on, give me everything you got, Jag. It's Jag. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. You are now 30 seconds beyond a Toyota 7. How do you feel? 
better than you could imagine. Go on, you fucker. Do not lose grip, do not lose grip, shit. Okay. I don't know where I am. Go, 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 come on. Go on, nearly there. Ah, shit, it's not gonna do it. Go, 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 go. We gave I'm it the best fight. for you to win. We gave it the best try that we could. Oh. Oh. Fuck. Damn. We did as good as we could. Fuck this championship. You can just hear Emil right now. Just smashing up his controller and PS2 and PC and car. Back for prize car. Bouncing there we the go. Room. We've gone through all the races. <clears throat> Thank Christ for that. Hooray! You Praise won overall 100,000 credits. Okay, Woo! so, uh, guys. Anyways, time for prize car. Notice how dead everyone sounds. Yeah, we really <laughs> did get, like, dejected by losing. Yeah. Because we're oh, well, not And losers, plus, this has taken, winners. what, four, four fucking hours? Not worth it. Not worth it. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck off. Fucking McLaren F1. GTR race car, yeah. I mean, it's cool. Not worth it. But no, it's not worth it. It's cool, it. but it's not worth it. I mean... <sighs> It'd be worth it if it was nice. the one with the golf livery or the black livery or something, but it's just the... Yes. The white one that's just like, yeah, whatever. Anyways. 88.4% completion. So that's something. Wait! Yeah, and technically, I think it's under... Yeah, there you go. It'd be under the McLaren. Wow. <sighs> It's got power, it's V12, it's worth a lot of money. Cool. Anyways, that's it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Next time we are going to take a look at the Dream Car Championship, so join us for that, and until then, farewell. <laughs>